Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, good afternoon, whatever. It's the 14th of uh, 14th of March, 2011, Monday. Oh, got Rush Limbaugh going on here. He's ranting away at uh, how Obama, Obama gets all of his money from GE, which owns all the nuclear reactors, which are all being destroyed by earthquakes and all this other stuff. Anyhow, check this out. Next week, the most on the uh. <laughs> waits as an inevitable plan swings into action in order to prevent world holocaust. Henry Fonda heads up an all-star cast when Playhouse 5 presents Failsafe tonight at 6 on Metro Media 5, Washington, D.C. You got some uh, clips here of uh, Channel 5 back before it was Fox Station. For many years, it was a Metro Media station. And uh, we're going to look at some of their uh, movie openings. Let's see what we got. Let's check out some of these old Rotor Rooter ad. Here we go. Watch this. This is from around 80 ish, I think. Playhouse 5. The most powerful nation in the world swings into action in order to prevent a holocaust. Henry Fonda stars in Fail Safe. Okay. Great movie, by the way, if you haven't ever seen Fail Safe. I do have it in my massive collection. Where is it here? Fail Safe. Fail Safe, where are you? Fail Safe. Fail Safe. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Great movie, by the way. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, um, I was just uh, on the on the uh, getting an e my e checking my email this morning, and uh, got this from the Washington Post subscriber services. Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking at the camera there, but anyhow, it says, "Dear David, thank you for subscribing to the Washington Post." Home delivery of the weekday and Saturday post is now sixty-seven cents per issue, plus sales tax. That's still less than a newsstand price of seventy-five cents. So I imagine they're raising the price. So here's what you do with the Washington Post when you are um, facing massive sub declines in subscribers, number of subscribers. Uh, you know the print circulation is sinking. What do you do? Yeah, raise the price. Of daily home delivery. Now I'm not sure what the old price was. I'll dig it up somewhere, but it obviously they're raising it a couple cents. So another couple of nickel and dime and cents for you there. I guess it's to you know they're they're spending more money for fuel to send the trucks out. But it just seems like okay they're going to lose some more subscribers. You know raise the price, lose subscribers. It's kind of like a postal mentality. You keep raising the price of stamps and the volume of mail keeps dropping. So anyhow, whatever. So that's that. Whatever. I do have to. I do want to commend the post, though. I do think they've done an excellent job covering the Japan tsunami and uh, earthquake. Really, really good coverage. I, I love their. The one reason I do subscribe to the Washington Post is the excellent A section. Um, their world and international and national news. They do a magnificent job with with all that. Uh, so you know and. You know, I love I love the graphics. You know, they, they do these really nice, you know, explain it to you what's going on with all the nuclear reactors over there in Japan. Um, while the style section sucks and continues to suck, you know, I think the, the main news section is great. I wish they would bring back the business section as a standalone section, except on you know just on Sundays now. Metro's pretty good. I like the sports section pretty good, but this old style section, ah, it's a uh, Bird cage, bottom of the bird cage fire. <laughs> um, all righty, I got a, uh, for a future Dave TV, got a, a special edition of the TV guide 
for 1970, September 1970. It's got uh, some interesting stuff about all the new shows that were debuting that year. And it's funny, almost all the new shows that were debuting in 1970 have completely, you know, you've never even heard of them anymore. Most of them were like barely a season, if anything. Anybody remembers The Partners with Don Adams? You know, I mean, shows like that, The Persuaders with Roger Moore, uh, Bobby Sherman and Getting Together. You know, the, really, you know, nobody, these shows have completely faded away from even our cultural mentality. How about the new Dick Van Dyke show with Hope Lang and Dick Van Dyke? Wow. Anyhow, we'll be paying some attention to that. It's the Philadelphia edition, by the way. The Channel 48, 29, and 17, the Indies. You know, the Banana Splits on 48, uh, Dennis the Menace on uh, 29. Really uh, interesting stuff there. There's a couple of ads. Let's make a deal on Channel 6 and get smart on Channel 48. Channel 48 was a uh, Kaiser station. Kaiser went bankrupt and they literally shut down Channel 48 and it went off the air for a couple of years. So, strange one with that, huh? Anyhow, uh, checking out some news clips from uh, DCR TV today. And we've got um, the Ehrlichs, Bob and Kendall, doing the. Uh, doing the morning show there at uh, WMAL today. They're just filling in for one day. It's not a permanent thing, but it'll be interesting to see. I guess they're doing a lot of tryouts over there at MAL to see uh, who, who will replace the late, great Fred Grandy. I mean, the, the great, uh, I don't know, he's not late, but uh, I think his radio career is shot to hell. Apparently Fred's under contract to WMAL through uh, next spring. So at least, I mean, the, the, the clause in his contract, so he can't really take any other Washington-based media jobs. Uh, until uh, 2012, uh, the spring, like May. So I don't think we'll be seeing much of Fred on the air. Now, he may go get another job somewhere, maybe a non-radio job, but uh, you won't be, I don't think, seeing or hearing much of him in the media for quite a while. And by then, he's going to be even older, and who's going to want him, right? WILC, 900 AM in um, Laurel, Maryland, is now um, uh, Romantica 900. Why would you say 900 in Spanish? Uh it's uh, flipped, kind of tweaked its spa Hispanic format there. Read more about that on DCRTV.com. And uh, Mrs. Fred Talks to Fox, which we've got on the site. Uh, got some more classified ads. And uh, a whole bunch of stuff like that. So there we go. Um, that's the big news today. And um, a couple of things from Dave's record collection today. If I can get my uh, video feeds. Oh, the Jays today. The Jays. One of my favorite bands, The Jam, Paul Weller, sound effects, uh, extras, brilliant album, and uh, Snap, they are one of the greatest hits albums. There was a show on Palladia, the MTV HD channel, last week that had Paul Weller today, you know, and, uh, you know, looking trim and fit as ever, gray hair, I guess he's got to be pushing 60, uh, but, uh, you know, kind of a... Interesting to look at the counterculture music movement there in London today, uh, some 20, 30 years after its heyday. <laughs> All right, folks, that's, uh, that's it for today for Dave's Dave TV. And uh, don't forget to stay tuned.